spun her a good one. I spun her a good one. I spun her a good one. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> That was weird, that was kind of fucking up. I thought that was a cider effect. So, it's lovely to be here. I'm actually doing a show with my mate Rory Ellis at the Old Chapel, a bit later on at 8 o'clock. Um, you're all welcome, of course. Um, so, well, I, they invite me to come down, the organisers here invite me to come down and do a couple of poems for you. So, here I am. Um, 32 years of a tune of the stock ride, but this is my poetic licence. You get it stamped. Yo, I'm the MC of Ranting Rebel Poetry, and I'm a history of my identity. I'm independent of Red Cottage Industry, DIY from here to eternity. Let me tell you what's been going on. I take inspiration from a centuries long gone. Oral tradition of sedition. That's my position. No court jester with a tame disposition. Poetic license? 32 years I've had one. But they don't come easy. They're not handed out for fun. You have to earn it. Work and sweat and move. Not get stuck in a dead poet bore groove. I earn mine in dirty scummy punk clubs. Art centers, rock gigs, festivals and dodgy pubs. And yes, once or twice... I've had to fight, but when a fascist hits a poet, the poet's doing something right. So listen up, this MC's in a stay. Wild of those years ago and still fired up today. I love words, and I've got this message for you. Poetry's not boring, though some poets bore you. And I have to say that some poets bore me. They're about as fun as a week in the lavatory, dull and pretentious, playing the art game. Real problem is they give the rest of us a bad name. But I'm in the forward line, down there in the scrum. Tedious whining poets up your bum. And some of the critics, you might stuff's no good. By my living area, those jerks never could. Yes, as you see, I'm a little bit bolshy too. But that's just one of the ways I want to get through. Sometimes it's cerebral, dry, esoteric wit. Sometimes it's loud and wild and hard and rude as shit. I love words and I love them in the red and raw. I like to use them in ways I've not been used before. I want you to laugh and I want you to think as well. Bollocks the TV. This is live. As live as hell. Oral tradition. The real origins of poetry. The till of the stockbroker. Ranting rebel MC. Dean of the Social Surrealist University. Welcome to my wild poetic journey. Cheers. Okay, a lot of people ask me how I got the name Attila the Stockbroker. Well, the, the only job I ever had, apart from being Attila the Stockbroker and earning my living as a poet and musician, was in 1980 when I was a clerk in a stockbroking company. I hated them, they hated me. One day someone said they had, I had the manners of Attila the Hun, and I thought Attila the Stockbroker, that's a good stage name. It stood me in good stead for 32 years. The only other thing I got out of that job was this poem that I wrote about the people that I worked with in that job, and it's called Every Time I Eat Vegetables, It Makes Me Think of You. No agony, no ecstasy, no pleasure and no pain. So exquisitely uninteresting you drive your wife insane. The TV is your oracle, the newspaper's your guide, and your shiny little vehicle is your passion and your pride. You've done the same things every day for nigh on 20 years, and in your ludicrous routines you hide your worthless fears. On the blandest boat in boredom you were captain of the crew, and every time I eat vegetables it makes me think of you. The died the day that you were born and now you sit and rot. An empty-headed dinosaur in the pond that time forgot. Your image is respectable, there's nothing underneath. And the whole thing is as surely false as nine-tenths of your teeth. Your views are carbon copies of the rubbish that you read. And you swallow every morsel Rupert Murdoch seeks to feed. You go to bed at ten because you have nothing else to do. And every time I eat vegetables it makes me think of you. You're a cabbage in a pickle and your brain has spun a leak. So let us keep our distance because I vomit when you speak. I'll always do a runner, so I'm going where you've been. Just to see you chills my marrow and turns my tomatoes green. You're an 18-carat cretin with a dandelion wine. So stick to your herbaceous border and I'll stick to mine. And although this verse is corn e, it's amazing, but it's true. Every time I eat vegetables, it makes me think of you. Cheers.